And we're back here at the Nest with Brooke Martin. Brooke Martin is number 13. Brooke, how do you think the game went tonight? Um, I think it went very well. We uh, came together. It's hard to keep our momentum up on games like this, but um, we did it, and I think it went well. It's got to be great coming back from a 6-0 uh, tournament sweep where you guys didn't drop a set to come into a game like this where you go, you know, three sets and then you're done. Yeah, it did feel really good. Um, that's our main goal right now is to keep um, beating teams in three so that uh, it just keeps us up and um, keeps us up, basically. And I, had, I did have a question for you. When you guys aren't on the court, you're standing on the sidelines. Why not sit down on the, in the seats? Because it keeps us more focused, and um, when you're on the court and a play happens, and if, if it's an error, and you see your whole team trying to pick you up from the sidelines, it really helps you on the court, and it's just it's a team thing. And I noticed that some at times you would miss the point, but you would still congratulate and cheer with each other. Does that help carry the morale of your team? Yeah, because there's still a lot of game left. Um, you know, when an error is made, or when we don't get a point, and another team's earns the point we um there's still a lot of game left to be played and there's no point in getting down on one point when you have 20 left well you were a monster out there i saw you make a couple of dives you 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 made a couple of one-handed uh, a couple of one-handed digs which you know seemed impossible but you you were able to get it done you hustled out there and um what was going through your mind during the game um, basically, I have one job, and that's to get the ball up. So that's all that goes through my head, no matter where it's at. It's my job to get it up, and that's what I try to do. Well, it works now, now, see, Jerome, she has one job. Your job is the color commentary. She does her one job. Maybe you could take a lesson from young Miss Brooke and actually apply that to what? your, you know, your but, job. But didn't you say earlier that I have two jobs as color commentator and SGA president? Outstanding. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Brooke, thanks a lot. Thank you. All right. How do you kind of cut? Josh, you want to? I want to take Oh. Just kidding, not commercial. <laughs> Still live. Hello, live people. Getting Josh and FaceTime. We're going to switch out. We're going to go to Josh and Josh right now. Jerome's going to sit down. This is Josh McGee. Josh McGee, this is Ashley Wolf. She's a freshman. She's six feet tall, a middle blocker from Patuxent. No, no questions for her, Josh? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Ashley, what do you think the uh, best part of the game was tonight? I don't know, just everything, like how we all just played together, passed that hit, and just put the ball right down on the floor. How would you say this team is uh, is different from your high school team? Um, we, I don't know. I guess we're just more up, like, sorry. <laughs> it's okay, you want to switch seats? Because I can sit there if you want to sit in the middle. I mean, would that make it easier? No, no, it's okay. We're not, we're not going to attack you. It's all right. It's going to be on TV. That's true, but it's on Channel 98. <laughs> well, don't look at them. We're going to turn. Can we turn her seat so that they, she can't see them? Girls, look the other way. See, what you don't see at home is all the other girls are staring and making faces. It's, it's not apparent on the camera right now, but they are standing right over there. What would you like to talk about? Let's make this about you. Um, that this is a really great team. I'm excited to be playing. Can't wait for our home tournament. I'm going to kick butt, take gold. And ready for some more kills. What's a funny story or something nice you can tell us about the about the road trip, the tournament you guys just got back from? Um, there's one tournament where um we just came from. Now it does have to be clean. I'm sorry. It is. There are children watching. Clean. I promise. And um, Libby, the other blocker, she <laughs> we were all stretching in the back. She just came up and just started dancing. She's like, "My name is Libby." Volleyball's my game. It was just hilarious. She got us all hyped up. We just could not stop laughing. It was hilarious. Do you have anything, Josh? Uh, how important is the front line, um, you know, in attacking the ball, blocking it? Uh, how does that affect the overall game? It's very important. Um, blocking helps slow down the ball for our back row. It just makes it easier for them to get to the ball, and it's just important, and I look good doing it. Well, the front line tonight was spectacular. Yes. Spectacular. Great job. Thank you. We're toying with names. We're going like, you know, Great Wall of China, you know, like Berlin Wall. We're finding something where, like, you know, it, it's impenetrable because on some of the plays, you know, it's like all three of you jumped at the same time or two of you jumped at the same time, and it was just you guys had a really great game. Thank you. <laughs> I like to say wooden net. Josh likes iron curtain. You know, different things for, for your net tonight. It was fantastic. <laughs> all right, what we're going to do right now is we're going to get you out of the hot seat. Thank you, Ashley. We appreciate it. We're going to go now with... I'm going to butcher her name, Caitlin Garner. That's right. Oh, I didn't say it that way the whole game because I thought it was wrong, but it is right.
Caitlin is a 5'8 freshman. She's a setter and outside hitter. And she hails, unfortunately, from Thomas Stone. I'm sorry. I'm a McDonough graduate, so. It's okay. It's okay. No problem. Uh, what would you say was uh, the best part of the game tonight? Um, I think overall we did very, very well. Um, for the most part, we... Um, we did our best, we did everything we could, and there's a few things we have to work on that we can do in practice, but overall the games were really, really, really well. Tonight's energy was uh, magnific excuse me, magnificently high. Uh, how important is that to have a synergy, to have team chemistry, uh, for the team to be on a hype tonight, which it seemed like CSM was tonight? It is very, very important. Um, we've learned that actually because there was a tournament before this where we weren't meshing very well together. We didn't have the focus or energy or drive, and we lost all our games. And then we came together at practice, and we were like, we need to set this up. And then all of a sudden, boom, bang, we start winning games. Well, you all certainly deserve this win, and it was shown great out on the court Thank tonight. Thank you very much. Now, I have a question before we let you go. Where did the oh snap thing come from? That was Miss Brooke, num Miss number 13. Um, her first ace she had, she came in and she was like, oh, snap, and it just stuck. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you, you know, the diction improved as the game improved because at the beginning it was like, oh, yeah, and then like towards the end it was like, oh, snap. <laughs> so we appreciate that because we're trying to figure out what you guys are talking about. <laughs> all right, well, thank you very much. We're going to get you out of here and switch in for Kelsey Loss. Mm -hmm. See, all these girls have difficult names. It just looks so easy out there in TV land, doesn't it? You just think I just say the names and they're just so easy, but they're not. Josh, you want to switch out with Jerome? Yes. All right. We're going to switch out with Jerome so we can do the wrap-up after Kelsey. Hi. How are you today? Hi. Pretty good. Uh, Kelsey is a 5'6 freshman. She's a setter and defense specialist, and she went to Leonardtown. What is the Leonardtown mascot? Uh, the Raiders. She still got it, Jerome. She still knows the Leonardtown mascot. What's the CSM mascot? Hawks. This girl is incredible. What do you think uh, was the best part of the game tonight? Um, I think the best part of the game is just how we played together. We meshed real well, and everyone was able to s know what the other one was going to do before it happened. Jerome? Well, I saw there were a lot of aces out there, and you had a few of them yourself. And um, I mean, it, it's got it's got to be uplifting to get an ace. And uh, it seemed like every time you got an ace, everybody just got really riled up. How'd that make you feel? Um, pretty good. I mean, every point matters, and every thing that we do well like pumps up the entire team so it's great to have aces out there so you could take a deck of cards out with you and that would make <laughs> the team a lot better because then you'd have at least four aces out there do you think that that would work we might actually have 13 aces out there because they would each have you know, cards so that would be good yeah, everybody's a comedian <laughs> <laughs> so what would be the one thing just in your own own game that you think you know maybe that you need to work on that you know you just even with a three set you know win you're just not happy with tonight is there anything at all um, not really. I mean, we had a few points that we may have been able to get, but it's all right. We did it pretty good. All right, well, thank you very much. Um, we're actually going to excuse you now and bring back Josh. Right. Uh, congratulations once again. Thank you. As she dances out of here, what we're going to do is wrap up tonight's game. Um, we'd like to thank you all for coming and realize that CSM is nationally ranked. They're nationally ranked in women's volleyball, they're nationally ranked in soccer, and there are a lot of great things going on at this campus. It's the 50th anniversary of the campus, and I mean, for goodness sakes, you have the CSM bookstore here. <laughs> Do you know how nice those people are? They give shirts to the TV people. What you need to do right now is you need to get up off your couch if it's not nighttime and go to the College of Southern Maryland to play to campus. Walk into the college bookstore and say, I saw that you guys are nice people, and not only did I want to meet you all, but I want to come in here and maybe get some CSM gear. Maybe get a polo shirt, maybe get a t-shirt. And <laughs> this is going to shock you guys, but they have books there. <laughs> they have books there. CSM bookstore have books. Anything in closing, guys? Uh, fantastic game. I personally enjoyed it. Uh, our announcing crew, I appreciate you having me out tonight for my first night. Uh, like you said, the wrapping is on me. Uh, hopefully, it will come off soon so we can have some fantastic uh, Hawks games uh, in the future. And Jerome? Well, I'd like to say, like Josh said, this was a great game, and I hope to see some future events just like this where the Hawks just come through and dominate their home games because that's how home games should be won through domination. And see, it's easy for Jerome because he has two Joshes, because this is Josh, Josh, and Jerome. So whatever Jerome says, he's right, whether he's referring to me or the other Josh. And the Hawks had it all right tonight. Three sets, three wins, game's over. 
Everybody go home. Good night. And we're going to say good night to you right now or good morning, depending on when you're watching this. Thanks again for watching us on CSM TV Channel 98, the home of the Hawks. Have you checked out CSM TV lately? In case you haven't, but you want to know what's on, what's a guy to do? Is there even a TV guide to show me what's on Channel 98? Absolutely.